Hi, in this screencast I'll show you how to use click to build and flash to build tools to help make changes to a site that uses flash animation and flash controls. Here you can see the Dieste site which has very nice flash uh, menu uh, with uh, lovely animated controls and typically updating a site like this would require going in and recreating the flash animation to which require knowing how to use those tools. But we've set it up so that the DSA employees can go in and simply make changes in the back end and uh, quickly uh, refresh the site. So let me show you how we do that. So I'm going to go to switch tabs here and go into a file browser that shows uh, all the details, all the information that goes into making up those menus. And you can see it's uh, we have the information about the the uh, descriptions, the menu descriptions, uh, the order of the menu items, the color of the menu items, and so forth. So I'm going to make those changes real quickly here, and show you how easy it is to do. First, I double click and go in. I'm going to change the description here on brands. And save that. I'm going to change the order of brands. I'm going to move it to the first in the list of menu items. And I'm going to go down to work, which is now first, and move it to the third position. So I'm just swapping out two menu items. And then finally, I'm going to go in and we'll change the uh, color. I want it to be a nice, uh, nice green color. So I'll put in my code and let's go back and see what it looks like. Now it hasn't changed yet because uh, the controls are ha have already read the old information so I'll refresh and now we can see that the controls have picked up the new information. So Brands is now in the first position has a new description and a new color. So that's how easy it is to update the controls. But we can do more. We can actually go in and make uh, changes to the content that that is uh, it, that the controls access. You can see the work menu item actually shows the different work that DSD has done for clients. What I'm going to do is update the Cheetos section. I'm going to add a an additional picture. This is the current picture, but I'm going to add a new new picture. So let's go back to our file browser and go down to the work folder for the work menu item. Go into Cheetos. Okay. And then I'm going to browse and find my new uh, Cheetos picture that I want to use. I'll open that. We're going to give it a new name and load that file. And then I'm going to go in and type a new description. And uh, there we have the information that we need. So now I'll go back and we'll do another refresh. We'll navigate down to Cheetos again. And now we see that we have two two items. So I'll select faces two, and here's our new picture that we that we wanted to add. So you can see it's very easy uh, to add different uh, different content and and change around the flash animation controls. So you can set up a very very nice site, but still have the flexibility to make changes in the future.